All right, guys and gals, welcome on back. Case number four. Just a couple of minutes past due on this one, so do appreciate everyone again for hanging out, joining, and watching again. Pretty good. Case number three. Let's see if we can continue it. Get some more folks on the board that we haven't seen action for. Good luck, good luck. Case number four coming up. Uh, Robert did post the link there for number three. You know, I don't recall if we hit anything Grayson Rodriguez parallel-wise, but recap is at the end there, just in case I did goof. If I didn't remember accurately there. I guess we'd seen some top 100s on it, but no, no parallels, no autos on the top 100 in that one. Well, at least on Grayson Rodriguez. We did get the nice Royce Lewis, right? Royce Lewis. Top 100 auto in that third case. Oh, not a problem, good sir. Let's see if we can put some action on the board here. Case number four, box number one. Coming up. Again, we do have, as of right now, the Braves Triple Pipeline Gold to split or to random off at the end of the break here. So do hang on. Well, after the final recap, we'll enter those three players into a random. Oh, you don't. Bradley, welcome back. And off we go. Detroit Tigers Pipeline, Cunha, 30th Anniversary, McClanahan, Top 100, Laura, Paper, what in the world, upside down, <laughs> that was an auto, alright, hmm. Robo Garcia, Sky Blue Paper Rookie to four ninety nine. Victor Victor Mesa insert. Montero, top one hundred. Purple Paper Prospect. Colton Welker. He's got a few parallels on the board now. Going back to yesterday. Laura Chrome. Duran as well. Alvarez and Lux as well, rookies. A little double paper parallel to lead it off. 172 out of 499 for the Robo Garcia. One sixty eight out of two fifty on the Colton Welker. Albert, uh, Lugos, Fanny the Globe, Francisco Alvarez, top 100. Bobby Wet Paper. Luis Robert, rookie. Lux, rookie of their favorites, Joey Bart, 30th anniversary prospect, Cheater Downs, top 100. Raul, Raul's looking for Patino, Jeremy's looking for uh, Jason, so either way would be a good one to put on the board for either spot there. Did get base autographs on both of them. Yes, uh, last case. Oh, uh, we got here. Ooh, thirtieth anniversary autograph on this one. Good luck. Put it on the board. Oh, nice Adley. Twenty-one out of thirty. 
congrats, congrats. Nice hit for the Rutschman spot. Certainly puts them on the board. All right, first auto out the gate. 30th anniversary prospect autograph. Adley Rutschman, 21 out of 30. Andre Jimenez, top 100. No, no, no. Rodri, uh, Rolls are usually always on the Padre guys. Uh, especially the top chippers there with Patino. Pipeline, St. Louis, Hidden Finds, McNeil, Luis Robert, top 100. Murph, rookie of your favorites, Ian Anderson, 30th anniversary prospect. Cape Ruiz, top 100. Okay. Nico. Still got two autos coming up. Athletics Pipeline. Yu Chang spanning the globe. Tarek Skubal, top 100. The first Skubal auto, among others. Prospect Refractor, autographed to 499. Chris Valmont. 265 out of 499. Get the Valmont spot back on the board. Did get him in yesterday's cases. I'm not sure. I think it was a base auto. All right. Adley to 30. Valmont to 499. Boy, that's got a lot of loops. <laughs> that's got a lot of loops in that. Or a lot of uh, peaks and valleys there. It's uh, up and down. Down, that's hard. Boy, could have made it easier on himself, I think. Canson, Hidden Finds, Ronaldo Hernandez, top 100. Auto graph coming up. Third auto, put it on the board. Brennan Davis back at it for the Davis spot. Ooh, he was pretty close to the Jason last time. I wonder, maybe if they're in sequence by chance. Matt Manning, 30th anniversary prospect. Bobby Witt, top 100. Huff, Robert Pawson. Yeah, looking at one rookie auto per case, right? Usually then like an insert, so it's a tough proposition. Although we have not run into him yet. So there's that there's that going there, but it would be nice to get one on the board. Mr. Lubob. Well, back to back. Jonathan, back to back cases on the Brennan Davis spot. Base auto in three. Base auto here in number four. Had a refractor auto in number one, so Getting some action on him. So Going to add some color. Got him early enough here to where maybe he can do the double up. Thought he might double up in the last case. Let's 
available. Rookie of the Year favorites, Ronaldo, Spanning the Globe, Christian Pache, Top 100. Jeff, you know, still no Howlett. Haven't seen Duran, haven't seen Howlett, so I don't know. Just sheer miss on them. Or a little tougher. They have all their colors, right? So we should run into some, hopefully, here. Mauricio Gorman, sorry. Purple Refractor Prospect to 250. Zach Thompson on this one. 35 out of 250. On the board. It's our first act, Thompson. Last pack of box number one, case number four. Bichette and Lewis. Spanning the globe, Lazardo. Drew Waters, top 100. But still, four cases would give you, I mean, you would think you'd see four, four jumbos. You'd see four out of 14. What's that? That's a little less than 30% chance on a four case or on any, any given rookie autograph, right? But it's a possibility. Base. Box number two coming up. So, Valmont Refractor, Adley to 30. Nice Adley Rutschman, 30th Anniversary Prospect Auto. And Brennan Davis, Base Auto, to lead off that first box of case number four. Yeah, like I tell people, right? Use, use the brakes for more entertainment. You know, to get some action. Best way, if you find it online, I've told people all the time, if you see it online and, you, and you're trying to pull it in the brakes, just pay for it directly. Right? There's really, that's the best way to go about it. Direct investment on the stuff you really want. And then, you know, use the brakes for some kind of entertainment and or right? random collecting. I end up picking spots on guys I don't collect just to try to hit something nice on them. Pardino spanning the globe. Nolan Jones, top 100. Yeah, super tough on the paper, on the, oh, here we go, Blue Refractor Auto, Prospect Blue, coming up to 150, put this one on the board, Quinn Cotton, back at it, there you go, Giselle, got the base auto in case three, Blue Refractor here, for the Quinn Cotton spot, 117 out of 150, so after a little slow start on him, let's put it together now. All right, Blue leads it off. Gore, 30th anniversary. Justice Sheffield, top 100 rookie. Lazardo, rookie of your favorites. Rommel, spanning the globe. Wander. Top 100. Dominguez Chrome. Possum. Prospect autograph. Incoming. 
Oh, hey, buddy. Welcome back. Yeah, Brennan Davis, something about it. Right? He was next to the Brennan Davis auto last time. Hmm. Hmm. If I see a Brennan Davis auto, I just might keep digging. Base auto, at least. That seems to be maybe part of his sequence. All right, bud. Lots encouraging. And got him early enough here to where we, we can do another, take another stab at him. See if we can do a double dip for you. But very nice. Jason, back on the board. Number two. Well then, very nice. Goldschmidt Hidden Finds, Varshow. Oh, Bobby. It might bode well for Patino, too. He was towards a little later in the sequence, but there's plenty of room. Might see some of these. We'll see how some of these base autos pop. Kenyu, rookie of your favorites. Casey Mice, 30th. Shane Bays, top 100. <laughs> Keep that a secret. I, I wouldn't suspect, because that would mean that Dominguez has as many autos as Brennan Davis, which I wouldn't suspect. Probably Dominguez's base autos are short printed to some extent. So he's got to be in a couple of different sequences. Not only just that one, right? Odds are he doesn't have as many as everyone else. I might be wrong, but I would bet that he has less. Still, though, at 500 a box, you better be sure about it, right? 600 a box almost. Pipeline, Blue Jays, Wander Franco spanning the globe. Josiah Gray, top 100. Aqua Shimmer to 125. Franklin Perez on this one. Twenty-eight of one twenty five. You know what I was thinking too? Some of those base auto sales that low that bottom out might be because it doesn't look centered, right? Odds are if it's if it looks nice enough, it's going out for grading. So that could be why you see some of the base autos maybe dropping is that from the buyer's perspective, the centering isn't entirely there, and maybe it might be a lower grade potential. Odds are most of the good ones are getting shipped off for grading, so that could be why some of the base autos are dropping in price as well there. That would be my guess. I would be cautious too, right? If someone's, if it's a real nice auto, and someone's letting it go, I'd question if there's anything, anything that's holding it back from a high grade. always more reassuring if you pull it yourself or you uh, get in a break you at least kind of don't have to worry about someone already making an assessment on it <laughs> Lou Bob McKay rookie of your favorites Pariti spanning the globe Casey Mize top 100 I haven't seen the Tampa Bay guys, Johnny Diaz or uh, Bruhan of note as well. Been MIAA. Well, up until today, I hadn't seen a lot of. Uh, what have we seen in Brennan Davis? I think we pulled him in a team break or two before, but. Hadn't seen any Dominguez up until today, so that's a real encouraging sign on our end, at least. Trailer Trammell, 30th anniversary. Manning, top 100. So you start to look at the Tigers now, right? They got those arms coming up, Manning, Mize. Um, plethora of other young arms as well, Scooble. Franklin Perez to some extent as well. So you figure they're going to go with Torkelson. So you now you start adding some power to that lineup. Tigers might be an interesting look here in a few years. Uh, Miguel Amaya spanning the globe. 
Brady Singer, top 100. Where are they playing? The uh, Maglio Ordonez walk-off. That was good stuff. Nice and uh, good dramatics. Evan White, sky blue paper to 499. Mike, welcome aboard, good sir. 3.56 of 4.99. Just plugging away here. Box number two, case at number four. Got the Quinn Cotton Blue Refractor Auto and then added a Jason Dominguez Base Auto in this box. So back to back now, Jason Dominguez Autos in three and four. And got room to maybe add to it. Pipeline. Gus Barlin, Hidden Finds, Prospect Insert, Kristen Robinson, Top 100. Base. Kinu and Alvarez rookies. Third autograph to be coming up. Kyle Lewis, Rookie of the Year Favorites, Matt Libertor, Matthew Libertor, 30th Anniversary Prospect, Brian Mata, Top 100, Prospect Refractor to 499 coming up. Tristan Lutz did see, what was it, he did have a parallel in that last case, I think it was a yellow refractor, alright, add the refractor. Standard Refractor, 263 out of 499. <laughs> Work. <laughs> oh, hey now. All right, Atomic Refractor Autograph Prospect. Coming up, number to 100. Who do we have on this one? First Bowman. Joey Cantillo. You know, haven't seen Cantillo auto yet. Nice hit to get the Cantillo spot on the board. Raul, I thought for a second it might have been a Patino. Saw for a second the Padre Colors. Close. All right, and congrats on this one. Number 53 out of 100 gets the Joey Cantillo spot on the board. Shiny. So Cantillo Atomic, Quinn Cotton Blue, Jason Dominguez Base here in the second box. My Spanning the Globe, Tristan McKenzie, top 100. Base. All right, box number three coming up. <laughs> Close. So I forgot Contillo. So we're still looking for uh, Grant Little. So really Grant Little, I guess the last Padre. So apologies on that one. Musical chairs, right? Randy! Living the American dream, my friend. <laughs> uh, hey, oh, hold on a second here. We got gold. Looks like on the rookie auto spot. Unless it's an insert. No. What is this? Top 100. Or pipeline. Survey says Washington Nationals. Talent pipeline gold. So we'll add this to the Braves mix as well. We'll enter each player. And do a little randomization at the end of case number four. 13 out of 50 on this one. Gold refractor. <sighs> yeah, just a little bit of. Oh, 
Oh, all right. Ball start. I thought it was a gold rookie auto. We'll be back on that one. Luis Robert, top one, or spanning the globe. AJ Puck, top 100 rookie. Prospect Refractor, coming to 499. Put it on the board. Ooh, there we go. There we go. A little parallel action, finally. Goodness. Good. Nice clean refractor to 4 499. And good to see these things exist as well. Better, better, nice indeed. All right, little a little extra add on there. Looking for the color auto. That yeah, looks pretty clean there. Yeah, right. But but if Cantillo has another great year, right? Think you start things start to look a little differently on his stuff, I think. Ooh, here we go. Sparkle Refractor Autograph on this one to 299. Ford Proctor. He's adding it. He got the blue. He added a base. Add a sparkle. Congrats to the Ford Proctor spot. Putting them up. This one numbered 120 out of 299. Starts off box number three. Petey Alonzo. Top 100 Ian Anderson. <laughs> yeah, that's how I felt after my jumbo box. Huh? I got a, two of my three autos were Proctor Sparkle and Proctor Base. So sometimes the double up works in a good way. Sometimes uh, it can sting. And yeah, that one stung. AJ Puck, rookie of the year favorites. Dasan Brown spanning the globe. Joey Bart, top 100. Dominguez Chrome. Prospect autograph. Did we do? Did we? Oh my! So this is kind of like yeah. This is kind of like the box I had. Exactly. Exactly. I don't know who the third auto is. I gotta look, go back and look. But I had Proctor Base, Proctor Sparkle. Well, looks like somebody else got one of these boxes. Congrats to the Ford Proctor spot. That's what. Couple base, blue, and a sparkle now. So he is putting them up. <laughs> Tristan Casas, top 100. Blue paper, Hunter Dozier, 44 out of 150. Cease, rookie of the year favorites. AJ Puck, 30th anniversary rookie. Daniel Lynch, top 100.
I haven't really followed him too much, Rob. Does, does he have any control issues? Because yeah, I can attest to guys with control issues that don't come around. Yadier Alvarez, right? Big arm, 95 plus fastball. Sold pretty well out the gate for a Dodger. Was it 2016? The guy could just never get it over the plate. Hence, I'm stuck with part of his print run here. <laughs> Maybe for the end of days. Duran. Pete. But I don't think they were uh, I don't think they were this high on Alvarez like they are on Patino though. I guess time will have to wait and see. Bo Bichette, Rookie of the Year favorites, Wander Franco, Spanning the Globe, Jackson Coer, Top 100. <laughs> Punt it. <laughs> or you do what I do and just get real quiet for a few minutes and be like, hmm. Not exactly how I envisioned that kind of that box going, but you know, so it goes. That's, that's kind of the risk, some of the uh, risk on the extreme end there, right? So there are some boxes on Jumbo where you very well may not get back 100 bucks return on investment there. You might have to piece out the rookies and prospects in order to do that on some of the weaker boxes. Base, of course, not all bo not every box made equal. Pardino insert, Luis Garcia, top 100. Blue paper prospect, Dylan Carlson, out of 150. the camera fool you <laughs> I'm human too right there's a <laughs> there were a few expletives on my underbreath <laughs> more out of disbelief like son of a but yeah <laughs> well thanks for the consideration there good sir talent pipeline Milwaukee G Martinez hidden finds Kyle Wright top 100 Yeah, Padres aren't even done building, right? They got the top 100, right? They have how many? Seven or eight of the top 100 prospects. And another handful just out of the top 100 as well, so a lot to like. Bobby Witt, 30th anniversary prospect. Jonathan India. Dominguez Paper. Last pack of box number three, case number four. Purple Refractor Prospect Autograph Incoming. Number data 250. Oh, this is what you were looking for. Jason, putting together a little hit streak now. There you go, buddy. Jeremy, breathe. Ooh, all right. Jason Bass. Jason Purple here got the Refractor Prospect to 499. Got the Base Auto last case. Land ho, matey. Land ho. We may we've made contact. Very nice. And he did double up. Of 
Alright, put it on the board. Purple, Refractor, Prospect, Auto. 110 out of 250. Woo! Breathe. And release. So a much needed fourth case here on the Dominguez spot. Base, Purple, plus the Refractor, Prospect. And still got five boxes to go. Very nice. Miguel Amaya. Justice Sheffield. Top 100. Took a little while to break the ice, but there we go. Prospect Sparkle to 299. Leodi. Leodi Tavares on this one. 262 out of 299. Oops, put that in the wrong pile. All right, well, that changes that. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good little box number three there. Box number four. Case number four coming up. Yeah, if he'd have told me we would have hit three of his autos and that we hadn't hit, we'd go 0 for 2 on the first two cases. Woo. Much needed there. All right. Rookie autograph, rookie refractor auto coming up to 499 on this one. Put it on the board. Ison Diaz. Gonna take this one. 292 out of 499. Huff, Hidden Finds, Prospect. Mitch Keller. Top 100. Got a Blue Refractor Prospect. Jason Paper. Blue to 150. Brady Singer. 63 of 150. Yeah, I think some of those raws are more probably because they might be a little off-centered or just might not visually look like they're passing the grade grading standard for some people. So I would expect some of those base autos to maybe go a little lower. Look at maybe the top end of the, P of the graded version and maybe somewhere in that middle on the better version raw. But that's a much needed little three box run there on him for sure. Keeper. Ison Diaz on the board. Rookie auto to 499. So boy, I mean the I'm not sure, but are the base rookie autographs rare? Because I haven't seen I've seen more numbered rookie autos than base autos. So if you guys got a base auto, you might want to consider it might be pretty low population on the base rookie autos, right? I really haven't seen too many of them. Or it might be a modest print run just above the refractor print run. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know if you guys are seeing more base autos or we just maybe lucked out on some of the parallels in our cases. Dustin May, or do your favorites. Trout, 30th. Andrew Vaughn, top 100. I know the base rookie autos were pretty short print on uh, Bowman Chrome last year, so maybe that's something to do with it here. <laughs> well, you got to factor too, Chris. Some of those, I bet you a couple of those gem out. So there's the possibility if those if those cards gem out, then you know BGS nine five on those and that really kind of helps the value on those put the refractor you look at all the base and the chrome it's getting there it's about there 
still could use a little extra push over the top certainly but i think long term too i think those chromes his chromes in a psa 10 we'll see two, 200 250 before his debut so i'm pretty sure of that happening in due time well of course he's got to perform throughout the minors but he if he performs as expected i do expect those uh, base chromes to psa 10 over over 150 for sure rather quickly Dominguez spanning the globe and actually the price on eBay wasn't the final price I ended up doing a bunch of discounts and rebates and stuff like that so they ended up paying a lot less than he did as some of you guys know we end up doing a lot of discounts on stuff like big spots if we can for you guys it certainly doesn't work all the time but if I have the room to I certainly will make an adjustment Spanning the globe. Yeah, everything. <laughs> everything would be graded, I, I would imagine. Paper, chrome, inserts. Prospect auto base. So curious to see how the base autos go now. We've seen uh, Brennan Davis. We haven't had that many base autos. Brennan Davis, Jason Dominguez, Ford Proctor. Base auto coming up here. Ah, uh, yeah, did see Jerry. And Carnacio back on the board. He wasn't too far from the Dominguez last time either. All right. Got uh, doubled up for the Encarnacion spot. Base and blue. Congrats on this one as well. Kinyo, 30th anniversary rookie. Top 100, Jesus. Base. That's very true, Chris. You know, you got a really good point on that. Sometimes. You know, that's a very good point. Sometimes that's a lot of money. Sometimes people need to recoup that and not wait. Well, if you're going to do them on Dominguez, you're probably going to fast submit, so you'll get them back in a week or two. It's not going to be cheap. But that's another. That's a very good point, right? Some people, myself included at times, you know, sometimes you got to sell to get stuff paid. So it depends on, their, depends on where they're at financially, really. Nico and Adbert. Riley Green, top 100. But you would figure if you're in for it that much, you're gonna be patient enough to get it graded. I would, I would, I would hope. I know Jeremy does too. Jeremy plays the long game on this stuff. <laughs> I haven't seen Encarnacion. I heard the, the the whole thing I hear on him is real big breakout hit hitting last year, and I guess maybe that is the knock on him on the fielding. So. Field. 6 4 2 19 has got like a kind of an alloy build a little bit Yamamoto but I mean with the National League now maybe implementing uh, Universal DH that gives guys like Encarnacion a little more opportunity in National League organizations I would think Cladolo Dominguez Kinyo and Alvarez and looks. Yeah. <laughs> really long game. What do we got here? I mean, you figure if all goes as planned, he's making a debut as a super phenom at 19. Probably hold him back sometime, maybe until he's 20, realistically. But he should get an early jump on things if, if he gets developed. But that's still right. Three, 
maybe four years away. So <laughs> you got that right. Hunter Bishop, top 100. But with where this collecting market is going, how many, you know, you can project growth on having more collectors out there in four or five years. So the possibility of those prices going up is pretty reasonable. Aqua Refractor to 125. Jeremy Pena on this one. Did we get Pena? We did get a Pena auto. Yeah, we got a purple auto on him, if I recall correctly, yesterday. 84 out of 125 on this one. Oh, 30th anniversary rookie insert. Bobby Chrome. Yeah, exactly. They'll make sure he is ready to go for the next 15, 20 years for sure. Joe Adele spanning the globe. Cabrera top 100. All right, Tarek Skubal, sky blue paper to 499. Could use a nice auto on him. First Bowman Sky Blue Paper, 302 out of 499. Twins Pipeline, Logan Allen, Hidden Finds, Rookie Insert, Mackenzie Gore, Top 100. Dan, Rookie of the Year favorites, Kirsch, 30th Anniversary, insert, Bobby Dahlbeck, top 100, Bobby Witt, paper, Laura, paper, Prospect Auto coming up. Had Encarnacion Base Auto in this box. Ice and Diaz Refractor Rookie Auto. Third Auto put on the board. Hogan Harris. This is, yeah, this is heading down the same street that we had last time on the base autos, maybe here in particular. So I do apologize to those spots if that holds true. Other, those other spots. Back at it. Hogan Harris Base. Prospect Auto. That's weird, right? Because Hogan Harris was in the box with the Rookie Auto last time. It was Red Refractor Logan Allen. He's in the Rookie Auto box this time with uh, Ice and Diaz. Coincidence or by design? I'm not... I don't think... I'm not sure. I don't think it's a coincidence. Face. All right. Box number five coming up. Saki, welcome aboard. Yeah, that's what I would bet. I would bet um, Chrome or retail, good bet for paper chase, you know, rookie chasing prospect first Chromes. But you know, the retail does have the green refractor, green shimmers. 
So that's a nice possibility. Nice possibility of getting something along the chrome line, right? Really interesting. That would be uh, something to hit a super factor out of a blaster. My goodness. Dylan C. Sky Blue Paper Rookie to four ninety nine. Blazovic, Royce Lewis, top one hundred. Three forty three out of four ninety nine. Nice clean paper parallel rookie. Prospect autograph base coming up. This one, put it on the board. Jackson Rutledge, yeah, looks like the same street. Congrats there. Back at it for the Jackson Rutledge spot. Bryce Harper. 30th anniversary Spencer Howard top 100 All right. Congrats on this one as well. Yeah, blaster packs have the uh, greener factors as well, right? So it's in any other retail, if I'm not mistaken. Except the mega boxes, which have their own stuff. Dustin May, rookie of your favorites. Spanning the globe, Matthew Lugo, top 100. Cabron Hayes, Dominguez Paver. Hey now, gold. Coming up, gold shimmer. Prospect auto. Number 250. Who do we got? Who do we got? Thomas Dillard. You know, we haven't seen Thomas Dillard yet, if I'm not mistaken. Put it on the board. Gold shimmer. Prospect auto. 47 out of 50. Little T. Dilly. So, Jackson Rutledge Base, Dillard, Gold, Shimmer. First two autos out the gate here in box number five. Case number four. Yamamoto, Hidden Finds, Rookie Insert, Kelnick, Top 100. You know what I noticed, though? We've been quiet outside on the Yankees. Pretty quiet outside of Dominguez. No Duran, no Pereira. We did get Volpe base, right? Yeah, we got Volpe. A couple of the other guys we haven't seen in respect to their spots there. Adbert, rookie of your favorites. Xander, 30th anniversary. Little G Lux, top 100 rookie. trying to think we got him on the refractor auto last time so see we're seeing guys on the base auto so maybe we get a little numbered action for you here as well Let's see if we can get him back on the board Laura and Bobby Witt paper 
looking for some color for you, good sir. Romeo! See if we can find Lou Bob for you, good sir. G Lux Rookie of the Year favorites, Chang, Grayson Rodriguez. I know it's not much consolation, but should have about what? At least 40 to 50 of those paper rookies. Good stack of paper prospects, some chrome prospects, top 100. A lot of inserts, a lot of action on him. Ooh, a little mess, a little funk on the De La Cruz there. But it would be nice if we can land you on the autograph side. Uh, no doubt there. <laughs> Raul, I was thinking the same thing as you were typing it, apparently. Well, thank you, good sir. Yeah, right? Definitely look at those rookies, because nice Louis Robert PSA 10 paper rookie. That's going to bring in close to 30 bucks, I think, on those. It's going to cost a penny to grade on them, but long term, those should have nice potential as well. Pipeline Seattle. I know it's kind of like last resort, but there is a nice, there is some potential to break down there. Matt Libertor, top 100. Jesus, Rookie of the Year, uh, Spanning the Globe, Sixto, Top 100, Blue Shimmer, and a Purple Paper, Prospect Parallels coming up, Logan Gilbert to 250, Bobby Wick Chrome, you know, let me see if I can post a link, or you know what, better yet, let me see, I'll post you a link so you can kind of understand the visual but let me see if I can find some videos for you, um, Romeo, that might better explain the process and everything. One twenty-one out of one fifty here on the Valmont Blue Shimmer Prospect. Let me see if I got a link here. But yeah, I'll get you some direct videos that should help explain everything. But um, what was the one? PSA has a nice visual. I mean, it's not precise, but take a look at that. That's at least the, the standards PSA uses, so you can kind of use a visual, kind of give things over on that on a, on a visual, see how things compare. But I found that guide to be kind of helpful when trying to kind of, you know, trying to paint a picture of how things might look or might work. Also, you know, trial and error also helps to kind of see how your eye is coming along by doing some grading, trying to assess how stuff will grade sending it out and seeing if you were accurate or if you were way off i found some stuff i've sent out that i thought looked good that i was severely overlooked something so it's always a learning experience if you do get something back with a lower grade try to figure out why kind of hone refine your uh your eye so to say i always think it's a good idea to look at graded examples online too kind of gives you a template visually of what to look for for like centering Hoskins Hidden Finds, Corbin Carroll, Top 100, Huff, and Puff, Dominguez Crow, yeah, on the individual card price, they're about 12 to 15, I think, but, uh, the way to do it, if you can, is to save up and do a bulk submission or to join a group submission that would allow you a, a bulk rate. Saves you a few dollars per card e uh, easily there. And if you're doing multiple cards, it can add up to a pretty significant savings. Again, like I said, it's something we're going to try to look into as far as maybe hopefully being able to offer it as a supplemental service if we can kind of figure out how to make it streamlined without too much time on our end so that way it keeps kind of 
the labor cost down on my end too. Nolan Gorman, Logan Gilbert, top 100. Yeah, we'll have to figure out how much time requirement that takes and then we can see how to work it. Last pack of box number five, piece number four. Thomas Dillard, gold, shimmer to 50. Jackson Rutledge, base. Base, prospect auto coming up here for the third auto. Put this one on the board. Joe Genord. Yeah, we did get him as the last base auto towards that last case. Back at it for the Genord spot. Did get a refractor auto on day number one. There we go. So Genord and Rutledge, first Bowman base autos. Thomas Dillard, gold shimmer to 50. Out of Dominguez Chrome as well in this box. Adele spanning the globe. Looch, top 100. Pass some paper. Duran Chrome. All right, box number six coming up. So that's what I tell, that's a good point too, Mike, on Beckett, so on some of the pro, like the Chrome Autos, I really prefer BGS because you got that, that potential to go pristine 10 or black label 10, which is, exceeds both. On the regular rookie or prospect stuff, I think uh, PSA 10s are the way to go on the, the base, but if, if you guys, so that's the thing, you can use your eye, if you think there's a little nick or something to where it's not going to PSA 10, but it's still cleaned enough to maybe get a net hit. BGS 9.5. That's where I use both companies there. If and when. If I have something that I'm in question of. It's like, I really don't think it's... I, I don't feel confident enough it's going to PSA 10, so I'll just uh, BGS it in hopes that it gets a nice, strong 9.5. At worst, a 9 mint. Yeah, it's really tough. It's tough. I mean, I've I've submitted stuff and I've not. They, you know, as something like as far as little card stain or a little dot print imperfection, right? That can affect the grade somewhat. So trial and error, and I would say try smaller trial and error at first until you get the hang of it a little bit, and then kind of maybe go with some bigger submissions. But base prospect auto coming up in this box. Put it on the board. Ruben Cardenas. Yeah, we did see Ruben in the last one as well. No surprise there. Cantillo Hidden Finds. Groshan Top 100. Laura Chrome. So he doubled up. He went base auto and refractor auto back to back. And welcome back aboard. Oh, very cool. Yeah, it's always fun when you get them out and then they're almost getting ready to come back to you. So that's why I tell people too, right? Just get it done and get the clock ticking because it can take a while unless you're paying for the quick turnaround time. Let me mix these up here real quick. Sorry, there we go. McKay, Rookie of the Year Favorites. Dylan Carlson, 30th Anniversary. Nico Horner, Top 100. And don't let it sound like I know everything. I'm just basing it up off of my opinion my experiences. Certainly people out there that have better um, better opinions, better recommendations maybe. But just trying to factor in some of my advice with other people's advice as well. Ian Anderson. Shimmer. Aqua Shimmer to 125. Look. <laughs> 
like those. <laughs> Are you a doctor? No, but I did sleep at a Holiday Inn last night. 120 out of 125 on this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true, too. Something to consider. They charge by the value of the card. So if you got a... If you got a five thousand dollar card and you want to do a bulk submission that you can't right you got to pay on those so that's a good point as well there randy a lot to kind of consider pipeline so that's why if you do a larger submission maybe it's got to be all similar like rookies and prospects or stuff like that lower end you know ten to hundred dollar cards so to say Mikey, there we go, little Ian Anderson. Still got a shot at the gold triple here, so uh, hang on. As soon as we're done with this case number four recap, we'll get into the pipeline gold refractor randoms. We have two of them now, as we added the uh, Washington Nationals in this case. Casey Mai spanning the globe. Brendan McKay, top 100 rookie. Huff, Robert Pawson, Chrome. Oh my, three in a row. All-American autograph. Yeah, three cases in a row now on the Jumbos. I'm not sure how far, how, how, I mean, check the odds, give us an idea. All right, this one, it's upside down, so let's go this way. There you go, nice little hit for the Bobby Witt Jr. spot. Put it on the board. Got the Sparkle Auto to 299 in the last case. Nice All-American Auto here. Ultra careful with these as they are paper paper stock, ultra sensitive. Very nice. All right, back on the board. Battle with Junior. So who we you know Pacino. So we've seen every everybody except Pacino and Cannon. Well, still got two plus here. Let's see if we still got room to add, or if we do miss him. Adley, 30th anniversary prospect, top 100 Adley as well. Raul, looking for you, bud. Let's see if he can do like a. Uh, Double up with a with a parallel as well, like Dominguez did. Go base. Aquino, rookie of your favorites. Paredes, spanning the globe. Gratterall, top 100. Laura Paper. Atlanta Braves Town Pipeline, Michael King, Hidden Finds Prospect Insert, JJ Blade, Top 100. Prospect Refractor at a 499. Tristan Casas on this one. Fifty out of four ninety nine. I think Joey Bart is insert auto, or is he on the second year auto list too? Maybe I haven't seen him. That's why we haven't seen him. 
Jay, let's see if we can get you some action. Good, sir. Sorry, I've been a little quiet on him. Nico, rookie of your favorites. Jesus, 30th anniversary rookie. Davey Garcia, top 100. Thanks. Yeah, I almost forgot to. I remember he was now that I've seen it, but I forgot who was exactly on the checklist for those. So nice hit on the All American Auto for sure. Prospect Refractor Autograph to $4.99. Cooper Johnson, back at it for the Cooper spot. Did see, uh, I think on day, it was first auto here today, but yesterday. Did see two base autos and a purple refractor, if, I'm st if I recall correctly. All right, back at it. 161 out of 499 on this one. Oopa. Victor Victor Mesa. Sean Murphy, top 100 rookie insert. Insert only. That's what I thought on that. Well, there are some second year auto guys Adley and Vaughn and Bladé. There's a few other guys in here, but those guys are proving to be super tough as well. Kyle Lewis, rookie of your favorites. Ulrich Boharski, spanning the globe. Ryan Mountcastle, top 100. Pipeline, Texas Rangers, D.L. Hall, 30th anniversary prospect, Campiasano, top 100. Pause some paper. All right, last pack of box number six, case of number four. Dominguez spanning the globe. Hunter Green top 100. Aramis Admin sky blue paper prospect to 4.99. Yeah, Bladé has been top. I don't think we've seen Bladé. I think we've seen an Adley base, but then we got the 30th auto on him in this break. So those guys are tough. We got the blue on and, uh, Andrew Vaughn. But yeah, they're proving to be uh, some of the tougher ones as well. Box number seven. Coming up. Oh, we're going to move these real quick. One second. Yeah, for sure. That's why if you guys hit a second year base auto of like Adley or Vaughn or Bladé or who else is on that. But those guys, those base autos, I bet you are short printed compared to some of the others. Box number seven. Okay, so I was going to ask that. Do you think Bladé and them don't have some... Because there's some guys that don't have colors from year to year, right? We saw last year, Eloy, Vlad Jr. Who were some of the second year guys? But some of the second year guys last year only had uh, base autos and then gold or better. But if you saw a purple Bladé, then he's got full colors.
Jonathan, no. No, base auto. Base auto. Base auto to start this case. Sorry to confuse you there, good sir. All right, number seven coming up. Base prospect auto. This one. Put it on the board. Well, there he is, Raul. Kind of knew that was kind of coming. Congrats there, good sir. Got a little bit of room here, so we can do a double up. Blazovic, Hidden Finds, Dylan Carlson, top 100. Base. Yeah, so identical base auto run, so. I do apologize to those spots that end up getting affected out of that. Congrats certainly to those spots that did double up. Cool deal. Congrats on this one, good sir. Yamamoto, rookie of the year favorites. Nate Pearson, top 100. I'm sorry, Nate Pearson, 30th anniversary prospect. Alec Ball, top 100. That's true. Cannon is the only one that we haven't seen, so I'd be surprised if he doesn't pop up, seeing that we've seen everyone else to a T. Pipeline, Ross and Red Sox, Desan Brown, Spanning the Globe, Nikki Madrigal, top 100. Dominguez Paper. Possum Crow. Kinu, Alvarez, and Lux. Oh, okay. So then he is then. So then some of the short short print guys. So no perps. What about the other guys, Chris? What about uh, Vaughn, Adley? Who else is second year auto on those that are tough? Do they have middle color, sparkle, purple, whatnot? So I wouldn't doubt that some of those second year guys have some short, shorter printed colors. Louis Patino spanning the globe. Evan White, top 100. Base. Sparkle Refractor Autograph. Coming up to 299. Micah Bello. Back at it for the bellow spot on this one. Number six of 299. Congrats, congrats. First of the day, I think, for the bellow spot. Kirloff, 30th anniversary prospect. O'Neill Cruz, top 100. Purple Refractor prospect out of 250. Jordan Adams. 235 of 250. Sorry about that, bud. 235 out of 250 on the Jordan Adams. It's 299 on this one. Uh, which two guys do you have there, Mike? I wonder if it's any of the second year guys or... 
curious. I got to look at the checklist. How many of the prospect autos we have gotten on the board? Because we did get a lot of doubles and duplicates. So really curious to see the total number now because it's going to be, I think, far less than I anticipated. So if we do miss you, I do apologize, good sir. Do be on the lookout there. Usually try to throw a few extras on the back end of some of the sour packages. Murph, rookie of your favorites, Andres Munoz. Helio Ramos, top 100. Yeah, there's a bunch of guys now that I think about it that we haven't seen. Shirt and Apostle as well on the Texas Rangers. Haven't seen him. Howlett, still haven't seen him. Duran. So there's a pretty good lengthy list, I would imagine. Certainly we know not everyone's going to get on the board prospect auto-wise, but I would have hoped for a, bit, a little larger majority. San Francisco Pipeline, Chris Paddock, Hidden Finds, Mauricio, Top 100. Yeah, but we don't like to have it come down to that, right? But certainly try to do our end on the backside as well. AJ Puck, Rookie of the Year Favorites, Joe Adele, 30th Anniversary Prospect, Alec Thomas, Top 100. That's why, that's why we got confused, Roma. No, no, they were talking about 2020 Bowman. So, you're right. He does have autos in 2019 draft all the way around. I guess it's more of the 2020 Bowman Bladey autos, the second year ones here that are more uh, in question on being a little shorter printed. Refractor autograph to 499 There is a little Ezekiel Duran. I was going to say outside of uh, Dominguez, we've been light on the Yankee guys. Action here for the Ezekiel Duran spot on the board. Prospect Refractor Auto. 132 out of 499. Warner Franco spanning the globe. Dominguez, top 100. good man communicating through keyboard so <laughs> all this communication is going to happen Dominguez that was a good topic to bring up though I'm trying to figure out those second year guys they were tough oh what do we got aqua aqua refractor to 125 got excited by the shine there Jordan rookie of the year favorites Ramos spanning the globe using LD as top 100 Prospect Aqua to 125. A nice little Miguel Vargas. Boy, he had a first nice few cases going off on the autos there. Cooled down a bit since today, obviously. I'm back on the board. 36 of 125 on this one. <laughs> You're like, wait a second. I, don't, I know what I'm seeing here. <laughs> uh, Colorado Pipeline, Scherzer, 30th anniversary. Braylon Marquez, top 100. Base. Last pack of box number seven. Yellow paper. Looks like a yellow prospect coming up. 
Louis Roberts, Man in the Globe, Forrest Whitley, Top 100. Bobby Whip Paper. C.J. Abrams, 29 out of 75. Box number eight, final box of this break. Recap for case number four coming up, and then we got a couple of uh, pipeline gold refractors to random off, and we'll do those right after the recap. So, question is, is Connor Cannon base auto in here, which I would highly suspect is based upon everything else we've seen. And then what else do we got? Let's see if we can finish it on a high note here for somebody. Is a top 100. Is this an auto? No, it looks like an atomic. Yes, it is. Jesus, nice Jesus Lazardo. Atomic refractor, top 100 rookie. 99 out of 150. Amaya, Spanning the Globe, Jesus Sanchez, Top 100. Oh, he got booted for the Duran or the Cooper. Hmm. Well, that would stink. <laughs> I mean, in their regard, see everybody else come through except theirs. It could be the possibility. Whoa, here we go. Rookie autograph. So we doubled up on the rookies here. Got the Ice and Diaz refractor. This is a base rookie autograph. And put it on the board. Jesus. There you go. So, again, the base autos might be pretty tough. I would maybe consider hanging on to those. See how the population reports look. Rookie autograph on the board with this one. Just got the nice atomic as well. So that certainly helps the Lazardo spot there. Duran, Kel, uh, I'm sorry, Kelnick, 30th anniversary. Tyler Freeman, top 100. Kikuchi, purple paper at a 250. Dylan Cease, rookie of the year favorites. Pardino, spanning the globe. Vidal Bruhan, MIA as well. One eighty five out of two fifty on the Kikuchi purple paper. <laughs> it was supposed to be your honor. Well, base auto Connor. No, Lency Delgado. So maybe he did. We didn't see Lency in the other case. Hey Romeo, that's one of your guys though. A little Lency on it. Delgado, Prospect Auto. Isaiah Gilliam, Hidden Finds. Louis Patino, Top 100. Dominguez Paper. 
and maybe he did get booted or we just caught the sequence on him because we saw a cannon towards the front of the case yeah you might be right there we'd have seen him right before Brennan Davis if he was Did get the blue refractor, Lindsey Delgado, Prospect Auto, earlier at a base auto on this one. So, Lazardo, rookie base. Delgado, Prospect base. Let's see if we can finish it with a strong color auto here. Oh, very cool. <laughs> Well, good to do. Good to know at least some of those extras are paying for themselves. That's what I, I mean, if we're paying for the extras, all I need to know is that we're, there's actually hits coming out of them. Um, so that's cool, man. Thanks for sharing that. Certainly not all packs we do include include hits, but odds are or hopes are that we at least can get you a nice rookie that's gradable out of some of those packs or something along those lines at the bare minimum. But as we see every now and then, there's some cool stuff that comes out of those bonus packs. Laura Crow. <laughs> Proctologist. We actually already did get Ford Proctor. I think he passed his exam. <laughs> Yeah, we're talking about PSA, right? Oh, grading. <laughs> Wrong subject. Sorry, guys. Wrong form here. Talent Pipeline, Tampa Bay, Paredes, Spanning the Globe, Joe Adele, Top 100. Prospect Refractor to 499. Alex Kirloff on this one. Two fifty three out of four ninety nine. Kevin, a uh, big hit in this one would be the Del. Uh, I'm sorry, the Jason Dominguez purple auto, right? And he got a base auto and a prospect refractor to 4.99. So, uh, best of the four cases here on the Dominguez spot for sure. Lazardo, rookie of the year favorites. Atbert spanning the globe. Hans. Wit and Laura paper. Lazarus, <laughs> he has risen, has he not? <laughs> uh, theology 101, boys and girls. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Pipeline, Cincinnati, Gavin Lux, 30th anniversary rookie insert. CJ, top 100. Ah, you caught me. Yeah, going down to the local Target to do the same thing here in a few. Little uh, evening hobby. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know what's cool? I actually saw at the local Target, I actually was stopping to get some, uh, actually legitimately stopping to get some groceries. Took a peek and they did have, um, they did have a bunch of good stuff. They had Bowman and Mosaic and stuff. But they had a limit. It was a limit sign of limit two. So I think that's kind of cool. They kind of tried to. But I don't know how enforced it is really. Because it was just a little sign there. But that's the first thing I've ever seen like that. Where they're trying to limit limit the retail purchases. <laughs> what a thunk. Alec Baum. A little sky blue paper to four ninety nine. Base. 
So I don't know if you, that's something you guys have seen, but or if that's just something that the local store did around here, but I would kind of think that's kind of better to do it that way, so at least you can get something if you go to the store, because, right, nine times out of ten, the whole aisle's cleaned out of anything good. So I certainly welcome that if that's a new kind of uh, policy, at least on Target's end. Whoa, what happened here? Guys, this is this is like half of a pack. Oh, this pack down here's got more cards. Interesting. Let's see what happened here. Six, seven. Pipeline. Missing a couple of inserts, it looks like. So, hold up there, Cowboy. What do we got? We got a uh, Lazardo, Rookie, Lindsey Delgado. We should still have one more autograph. Kenya, Rookie of the Year favorites, Cease, 30th Anniversary, Valera, Top 100, Sparkle Refractor Prospect. I haven't caught the bandits. <laughs> Base, base, base. Sparkle Refractor Prospect to 299. Braylon Marquez on this one. 175 out of 299. <laughs> well, I certainly hope because we've seen a box, right? Case number one was missing an auto, and I certainly hope we're not missing one here. But this last pack looks a lot fatter here, so my guess is that some of those cards. Got in the mix here. Yeah, it's a little meatier. All right, so we're gonna finish this break with a purple refractor prospect auto to 250. Good luck. Once again, do thank everyone again for joining. If you did go hitless or you did go light, be on the lookout. Always try to look at those packages with a little more uh, closer focus and see if we can help out on those packages with a. Whether it be some cards of your player or some added packs. Good luck. Purple to 250. Grant Little. So we did get him. All right. Grant Little spot. Put it on the board with the last one here. Raul. Sorry, but I thought we had to double up on the Padre Patino there for you. Two twenty three out of two fifty gets the Grant Little spot. On the autograph side, grab clear. Add one more Dominguez spanning the globe. Tony Goslin, top 100 rookie. Duran. So, although we certainly still have some significant hitless spots on the auto side, much better cases today, I think, in terms of the overall value there. Uh, indeed, some solid hits. All right, let's take a look here. Recap for case number four. Again, we got the two pipeline gold refractors to random off as well. Um, let's do this. Well, like I tell people, right, hang on to your first Bowman stuff, right? Because you guys never know, right? So, case in point, 2016, I'm chasing Gavin Lux stuff in, in 2016 Bowman draft. His chromes and refractors, I didn't think anything of it. Just stacked them aside, stacked them aside. Uh, he, you know, he developed and turned into a top prospect, and lo and behold, a lot of those first Bowmans turned out to be very bountiful. So, if your guy has potential to rise up the prospect ranks, right, definitely hang on to your base paper, base first Bowman uh, until at least debut time, at least if it looks like they have a, a real shot at making a debut, right? Certainly always doesn't work out like that, but certainly adds a little bit of a little backdoor protection, I would say. No, we did get Cannon Smith. Oh, my bad, my bad. We got Cannon Smith yesterday. I didn't see him today, though. So, autographs here in case number four. I 
forgot about the Adley old boy. So we started it off with a nice Adley 30th anniversary prospect autograph, 21 out of 30. There we go. Top loader was a little. Very nice. Uh, next up, number 250, Thomas Dillard. Getting on the board. Gold Shimmer Prospect Auto, 47 out of 50. Number 2100, getting on the board. Joey Cantillo, Cantillo, 53 out of 100. Blue Refractor Prospect Auto, Quinn Cotton. Got a base and a blue today. Congrats there. Also added to the base auto from yesterday. Nope, not yet. Blue, purple refractors here, numbered out of 250. Jason, 110 out of 250. Much needed case on this one. Grant Little, purple as well at the final, final auto out of the case there. Sparkle, two sparkle autos to 299. Proctor and Micah Bello. Refractor autographs, number to 499. We had four of them. Valmont on the rookies, Ison Diaz, Cooper Johnson, Ezekiel Duran. Not numbered, but a nice little All American auto hit here. Bobby Witt Jr. So we went three out of four on the jumbos on the All American autos there. Pretty good ratio on those. Congrats indeed. Base autographs from this case, and I mean, um, out, outside of. Outside of Delgado and Lazardo here, a pretty identical run to case number three. So I do apologize to those spots that didn't see any autos. Certainly to get some duplicate action like that, it's going to eat up some spots. Delgado, Lazardo, base rookie auto. Patino, Cardenas, Janord, Jackson Rutledge, Hogan Harris, Encarnacion, Proctor, Dominguez, and Brennan Davis, sorry. Brennan Davis all doubled up from the last case on the base autos. Chrome parallels from case number four here. Let's separate these out. And got the nice Dominguez refractor. Finally got a parallel on him. So... Oh, we did, okay. Gold Refractor was our lowest numbered non-auto parallel here. Gold Refractor Talent Pipeline, Washington National. So, Jackson Rutledge, Will Crow, and uh, Luis Garcia, stay tuned. We're going to random this one along with the Atlanta Braves Pipeline after this recap. So, otherwise, outside of the gold, then, our lowest parallel were the Aquas here. Two Shimmer, two Aqua Refractors. On the Aqua Refractors, a couple of nice first Bowmans. Jeremy Pena, Miguel Vargas. Aqua Shimmer to 125 apiece. Franklin Perez, Ian Anderson. Blue, one blue shimmer, one blue refractor on the blue refractor. Brady Singer, blue shimmer refractor here. Chris Balmont. One atomic refractor insert. Jesus Lazardo, atomic refractor top 100 rookie. 99 out of 150. Couple purple refractor prospects out of 250. Zach Thompson, Jordan Adams. Sparkle refractor prospects, two of them here out of 299 apiece. Leody Tavares, Braylon Marquez. Prospect refractors to 499. We had four of them. Lutz, Dominguez, Casas, and Alex Kirloff. Pete. For parallels. Chris, as always, good sir. Appreciate you guys as well. Otherwise, we aren't doing these breaks. That's for sure. Top parallel paper. Top paper parallel in this case is the uh, yellow. Yellow paper prospect. CJ Abrams on this one, number 29 of 75. A couple of blues. Hunter Dozier. And on the prospect side, Dylan Carlson. Purple to 250. Welker and Logan Gilbert on the prospects. Kikuchi on the base set. 
sky blue paper to $4.99. Four of them on the prospect side. Evan White, Tarek Skubal, Admin, and Alec Baum on the base set here. A couple of rookies, Cease and Robo Garcia. Quick count on the Dominguez spot for case number four. Yeah, so paper count, seven actually. You can see in six per case, with the exception there on seven. And chrome count, three. So we did see three in every case except one in which we did see four. So that's about the general rule is three chrome, six paper. Kind of to be expected there with the outlier maybe being a fourth, paper, uh, fourth chrome or maybe a seventh paper. Spanning the globe, three and one top 100. But of course, base auto, purple auto, Chrome Refractor to $4.99, so very good in that respect. All right, well, we do got a couple of uh, cards to randomize here. Atlanta Braves, Talent Pipeline, Gold. Langoliers, Ian Anderson, and Braden Shoemake. We'll put each player into the random. Langoliers, Anderson, and then Shoemake in order, and then we'll mix the list. Let's do a dice roll real quick here. Live dice roll to determine how many times we're going to flip these lists. on the infield here. It's a five, so we'll go five times. We're going to open up the randomization, and then we'll plug in those players, give it a spin, and whoever, whichever player is on top after the fifth roll, or fifth random, is the winner of those inserts. All right, stay tuned. Let's open this up so you guys and gals can see. All right, so taking it down for the Ian Anderson spot. Congrats on that one. Um, Mike, there you go, bud. Congrats, man. Apologies to the Langoliers and the Shoemake spot on that one. So we're going to go five times as well on this one for the Washington Nationals pipeline. Good luck. We'll enter all three players again. Give it a spin five times. Whoever's on top after the fifth is the winner. Okay, and uh, back at it. So this one's going to go to the Will Crow spot. Both guys in the middle there after five randoms. So apologies to the Rutledge and to the Luis Garcia spots there. Congrats Ian Anderson and Will Crow. A couple of gold refractor inserts. All right, gang. That is going to get us to and through the end of this one. So certainly appreciate everyone again for hanging out, joining, watching the breaks. Uh, do be on the lookout as these are going to take the better part of a couple of days to sort and bag out. But uh, plan is to have these starting to ship for you guys. What's today, Tuesday? Starting to ship hopefully on Thursday for you. Clear this out, everyone can see. Do you have some more team break action ending tonight on eBay? Select baseball, half case. Bowman hobby, half case. 
starting a fresh case on each of those. And then we do have a full 12 box case of tier one baseball. All team break style ending tonight on eBay. Do check them out. Uh, any questions or concerns, as always, please feel free to shoot us a message through eBay. Do try to get back to you within 24 hours. Although I do apologize, I've been a little backed up on the messages. So if you guys have messaged over the weekend here, I'm just kind of clearing through those finally. Uh, we'll get back to you if you are pending a response in that regard. And do appreciate your patience. Otherwise, do try to get back to you within 24 hours there. Uh, do, 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 do. Quick check. One more time, I'm going to post the link for the, team, for the e, uh, eBay store link there at the bottom. Check out the listings. Plenty of action going on throughout the week. So do check them out. Just another reminder, Bowman 2-case, Hobby and Jumbo 2-case player break ending Thursday. So another player break coming. And then we probably will do a little, little break on Bowman for the next few weeks as we get in a bunch of new products as well. So check them out while we got them. All right, gang, that's going to wrap. As always, certainly hope you guys enjoy the rest of your afternoon, rest of your evening out there. Certainly hope to see you at some of the up-and-coming breaks, but until then, take care, and we'll see you.